How's it going everybody? This is how to travel the USA on a budget. I've been to the States three times so far and yes it is expensive. Now the first time I think I was 11 or 12 years old. Uh, obviously at that time I didn't I visited some family that I had over there so I didn't have to pay uh, anything out of my pocket. I mean how could I really? But when I was in the States for the second and third time I was 18 already. Uh, actually one one time I was 18, one time I was nine time, 19, and both times I had to pay for pretty much everything myself, everything on my own. So I do have a slight understanding of, you know, how it, how much, um, how much uh, hotels cost and hostels and food and all of that. I actually did use Uber for the first time in, in New York, uh, not in California, because I didn't, I did not have a phone. That's the thing about me. I did, um, I had, a, I forgot to, um, get myself a different sim card at the uh, before my travel um, to California so I did not have any phone luckily I saw I was staying with someone he had a, he's American so obviously he had a phone but um, the second time I was a little bit smarter and uh, I bought a prepaid so that's how I was able to use uber and just you know use the internet in the States because god damn I don't know about you guys but if I don't have internet I'm screwed literally so uh, yeah, that's 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 funny now. Kind of a random video, but let's do it. I mean, I don't know. I think it's just interesting. Now. Let's do this. America is not the best place to start if you are traveling on a budget, but there are many ways that you can save money whilst traveling the USA. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we are sharing how to travel the USA on a budget. Hope it's loud enough. Oh, we know this picture. Hell yeah. By the way, do you like this blue in the background? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Looking for more travel tips? Make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the first way that you can say- Oh, real quick before we go in. In case you want to see some- if money. If you don't know what, what Germany is like. I just talked to someone from the States just not, not even an hour ago. This is our- these are our Coke cans here. We don't have the small ones, usually. And uh, this one specifically is cherry. And onitsuka means without sugar. In case you're wondering. You hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the first way that you can save money in the USA is by using the budget chain hotels. These are budget basic chain. and please make sure to check reviews on Yelp and TripAdvisor first. But you can save some serious money staying in places like Echno Lodge, Travel Lodge, Days In and Super 8. Talking about accommodation, another way you can save money is by getting a hotel with a kitchenette. Now these might not always be available in the bigger cities, but when booking a hotel or motel, check if there is a kitchenette. Try to opt for a room with one, especially if you are staying somewhere for an extended period of time. This means you can save loads of money cooking food yourself rather than oh. eating out. Okay, wait, so what is a kitchenette? I mean, is it just a kitchen? Sure thing, just don't eat out, it's most expensive. Got it. God damn. I remember these street cards. However, if you are looking for a luxury hotel room, make sure you use reward cards. If you travel a lot, why not get a rewards credit card for your favorite hotel chain? Well, here's the thing. If you're already traveling with a budget, I assume you don't really have too many rewards or too many points because but you can travel a lot, so I don't know about that. and Marriott have great sign-up offers, so you can collect points each time you spend money on the card, and then redeem free stays and Dude, upgrades what is this? worldwide. Alternatively, when you're looking at saving money on accommodation, you can have a look at Hotel Tonight. This app can be used in the big cities such as New York, LA, Chicago, Miami, and Vegas. It offers last-minute rooms, particularly great if you are thinking of a weekend away. A weekend away, sure. And of course, avoid public holidays. Hotel and travel prices rise around the 4th of July and Labor Day, so avoid traveling at this time. If you do want to travel at this time, then book everything in advance. Dude, I'm telling you, I was in the States on 4th of July, and yes, believe it or not, don't ask me why, or don't ask me how, but I did spend my 4th of July in Calabasas. Now, Calabasas was actually that. I'm by no means rich, but I had the chance to spend it at a, if you don't know what Calabasas is, 
the best way to describe it is just this it's i think it's 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 outside of beverly hills i think or at least very close so it's in california obviously um close to la i think and it's just a very uh, it's like uh, a very um like close community kind of thing i would assume um but the people that we were staying with or were spending the spending the day with they had their own if you had an apartment there the apartments were all right don't get me wrong they were all right but they had their private tennis tennis court they had a private swimming pool um yeah i mean it was just incredible but just uh uh, it, it was it was great it was great i mean it was there was something about just like in this picture there was something about seeing so many flags um on the same day and even leading up to it because that's what Amer americans like to do they also they don't just like to, it's the same of, best example is um either christmas or or halloween like all the days leading up to it oh my god you guys are already in the mood i love that because i don't really like a just one day holiday because it's 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 sort of um like you have to be like you have to have fun on command but rather when you have an entire week like you can have fun whenever you want would you agree and one last tip for saving money on accommodation in the usa make sure to avoid hostels now really? hostels are a great way to save money on accommodation everywhere else in the world but not in the us there aren't many hostels here and most are overpriced. What? If you are traveling by that. yourself, you are better off using a budget hotel or looking for a bedroom on Airbnb. Oh, that's strange. Oh, that's my music. Next, we're gonna look at how to save money on food. So firstly, use the farmer markets. Now there might not be farmer markets oh, everywhere you are visiting in the USA, but many places will have some form of local market. Either use the farmer markets to stock up on food, or you can even look for ethnic grocery stores. Often these will have cheaper priced foods. Another way to save money on food in America is by getting the early bird. The early when bird. When eating out, either aim to have a big lunch or head to a restaurant before 5 p.m. Many places will offer an early bird option where you can save money when eating between 2 and 5 p.m. What? I have never heard of that. I, it's smart. It's smart if you think about it. If, if, you, if you say everything's off like 10% of you doing it. 10? Now, here, here's, the, here's the thing about, um, I guess, these, these, these discount prices. Now, let's say you, you, um, you save 10% 10, 10 on your meal when you eat out it's like you pay 40 bucks for three four three people or whatever 40 bucks or so and then when, when you eat out and then you save 10 bucks like oh yeah man i saved 10 bucks but then right after you go to starbucks and you buy a coffee for five bucks so didn't really save anything this this one actually said atm inside open 24 hours really gotta love the us and the 24 hour by the way i'm, I'm really curious what do you guys think the whole uh, idea of shops being or, or stores um, being allowed, I guess, and also um, being open 24 hours a day, um, like Walmart used to be, um, do you think that this, this is a good idea? I mean, obviously, when you work at those places, um, I'm having worked myself at some places that, that are open very late or open very early on, it just sucks getting up or, or it just sucks getting up at 4 in the morning or um, coming home for work at like you know almost midnight so it's good for the consumer it's bad for the employee I guess but at the same time I mean when you work night shift usually you should get a bonus that's at least how it is here in Germany I assume I assume it's I assume it's a state in the States it has to be Another way you can save money is by using coupons. Pick up the local newspaper where you are traveling to and find coupons for attractions and restaurants each week. If you plan on visiting a chain restaurant or cafe, for example Starbucks, check for vouchers or gift card certificates on eBay as well. Yo, here's a tip, don't go to Starbucks at all. That's how you really save money. 
Now let's talk about ways to save money traveling to and around America. Isn't now, it firstly, Florida? if you are trying to travel into America, you will want to compare flight prices. We typically use Skyscanner to compare prices and then check dates on Momondo to find the cheapest date for us. Oh, Momondo is pretty good. I've actually, uh, I've, I haven't booked a flight myself yet. But I found out about it, I found out about this after my last flight. It's pretty good. Also, don't just check one destination. There are lots of airports in the USA, so flying into another airport in the city or near a city can often work out cheaper. Here's a, here's a reason: always fly to in an international airport. For example, when I used to when I f flew to uh, New York City in 2018, I first wanted to I first wanted to fly to LaGuardia Airport because it was literally right next to the event I was I was going to be or that I was going to attend. But it was a huge mistake because the price of flying to Laguani Airport was, I think, like 400 bucks higher than if I just flew to JFK and then booked a uh, and then took a 15 dollar Uber or so to my hotel. Much, much easier. Also, there's a good chance if you don't have a, if you don't go to a direct uh, to an international flight that your whole um, that you that the flight's going to be longer and it will pass. Um, like you're gonna have one stop in between. <clears throat> For example, if I wanted to go to Laguardia like, Airport, I think I would have had to stop in Canada. And I'm like, who wants that, right? Now, once you are in America, you may want to rent a car. If you intend on road tripping, make sure you compare prices for a rental car on websites such as rentalcars.com or Hotwire. Another Hotwire. option if you're looking to rent a car is by using Turo. Websites like Turo.com and GetAround.com offer a similar experience like Airbnb, but for cars. You can rent a car from owners and this can work out cheaper than renting from a rental company. Whilst you are travelling in America, make sure you download a Wi-Fi map. This map is fantastic at finding available Wi-Fi spots in the area that you're in. These aren't just free Wi-Fi spots too, they have a database of passwords to make your connection reliable and safe. Another way you can save money is by using the free attractions. Now again, every city in America has some type of free attractions, whether it is museums or walking tours, there are always free things to do in the city that you're going to. So make sure you research them and take advantage of them. Hell yeah, also, I didn't do anything in New York City. if you are to one of the major cities in America, have a look to see if they have a smart destination pass. This is like a city pass that can save you money on major attractions around the city that you're visiting. We will leave our favorite links in the description below. Man, I, lo I honestly, honestly, I love palm trees. Visiting. We will leave our favorite links. In it's, it's, don't you guys think that is there's something calm, calming about uh, palm trees? In the description below. So those are just a few ways on how to travel the USA on a budget. We hope you have a great time. Let us know your thoughts and where you're heading to in the comments below. Take care and until next time, stay creative. Yeah, that was a, that was a good one. Now, this was a phenomenal picture right here. Now, here's, here's, here's a little bit of advice. This video was more like how to do the expensive things cheap because a real, uh, a real way to, to save money is like a uh, Dominic car. Uh, don't uh, don't go to Starbucks at all. Like buy your own coffee, make it at home, and then just take it with you. Literally. So, but still, I mean, I mean the 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 one that surprised me then was the hostels. I feel like hostel, the whole hostel culture of hostels are not very. I, I'm really big in the states. I remember. I used to go to a hostel with my school all the time, all the time, almost every two years, every two years, we would go to a hotel. Now you guys remember those, those, I don't know if you guys, if you, if Americans do that, but in Germany you go on a, on a trip like that every two years almost, or every one and a half years or so, and it's always that you have to share the room with like fucking ugh, six other people or seven other people, and there's always one that snores, there's one that farts. I remember this one guy. Um, he's actually a good friend of mine. Now he used to. Uh, I had a, a flannel shirt. Sometimes you see me wearing a flannel shirt. And he was sleep out. It was a bunk bed. I was sleeping on top. He was sleeping on the bottom. And he was just snoring. And also it was super super warm. We were in France at the time in Verdun. In case you don't know whether it's very important for global one. 
and uh, he was snoring so fucking loud that in the middle of the night I just took my fucking flannel shirt and literally literally like fucking like <laughs> like I, I took the basically the end of the sleeve and just fucking like hit him in the face with it and he's like ah, 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 ah. he woke up like 10 seconds later like oh, who's that who's that it's like afterwards I, I fell asleep before he could start snoring again so but that's just a classic one also I think there was someone oh my god there's literally someone who there who um he, he, we had a problem of mosquitoes in our room um and uh uh, the mosquitoes they always you know fly towards the light and uh, <laughs> a friend of mine he wanted to get rid of the mosquitoes by spraying them with deodorant by axe axe out of everything out of out of out of them all you know he wanted to spray them with axe but he didn't realize that as he was spraying there was a bit of fire uh, fire uh, thing like I don't know what you call it a fire emergency um, the thing that rings you know he would he literally sprayed that and the fucking fire alarm went off that was a big no-no. Well, anyway, that's just a story on the side. I have much more stories like that. Guys, in, in, in case you enjoyed, uh, definitely let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to react to. Put the name of the video down in the description. I appreciate every single one of you watching. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is Blueberry Nico. Um, I don't even know what to say. This fucking... Dude, ever since this guy said that... Uh, ever since he called me Blueberry Nico, I, Nico, I feel different. <laughs> Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.